Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to how to program a, another icon or a program if you like on the home screen of the new uh, fourth generation uh, Chronic Human Alter BizHub series. So as you can see on this home screen here I've already programmed a few buttons. Uh, as a factory default you, will, you would only see the copy, scan fax, user box and the utility button. The utility button will always stay there. Uh, all these other buttons you can program and you can when, once this screen is filled up you can actually program another screen of buttons. So you have quite a few, quite a number of programs uh, available to you. And to customize uh, these icons if you like or programs what we're going to do, I'm going to go through one scenario in particular. So the first step to create a icon would be to set up in this case set up a program. So I'm going to go into my into scan and fax and you can see if you're familiar with the program or the as it was called mode memory on previous models the way this works is first you set the job up the way you want it so in this case for example it's going to be I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to say I change it to double sided so I'm going to do a double sided scan and if this is for archiving purposes for example I would go into the searchable PDF option and turn that on to English uh, so that means I will now scan a double sided document it's going to save it as a searchable PDF file that is perfect for my archiving system and one more setting I'm going to do that I recommend to turn on as default is that I'm under original setting there I'm going to activate blank page removal so that means that I can now with confidence scan a mix of single sided and double sided documents or if there's blank pages in between I know that the BISOB will automatically remove those blank pages so I've now set up my program um, and instead of having to remember this every time I'm now going to store that as a program so I press the program button at the top left of the screen uh, you select a program that hasn't been registered yet so just one of the not registered buttons I'm going to select new give it a name so if I select name there I get the keyboard up so I'm going to call it uh, I'll just call it SPDF just for searchable PDF in this case and the last thing I need to do is nominate where it's going to be uh, scanned. I actually select one from my address book which is going to go into my demo archiving system. So I've given it a name and nominated the destination and I hit OK and that program is now saved on there. So the last step to now create that as a new icon on my home screen I'll press the home button, the menu button at the top right hand side I now want that to appear as a new button on here so in the steps to do that click on utility button log in you need to have administrator access to do this so check with your supplier what the administrator password is log in as administrator select number one system settings go to page see there's page one out of three go to page three out of three select custom display settings then number one menu default setting you can see all the program these are all in use these menu, menu keys up to seven so I'm going to scroll down to the next page select one that is not in use I'm going to turn that button on and this is where you select your function so in this case uh, this is a scan uh, scan fax function setting no, it's not. It's a uh, fax scan program, and there you can see the program that I just created before, SPDF, just short for searchable PDF, perfect for my archiving system. Select OK, OK, close, just to escape out of the menu. And if I now press my home menu again, you can see that I've got a new icon on there called SPDF maybe if you do this I recommend use a bit more meaningful name like I've done with the one above which is the one I programmed before and I call that archiving or archiving system 
name it uh, whatever you find appropriate and that's the end of it once you've once you've stored that stored that program on the main menu it's very easy to use it's a two uh, two-step process select the program and hit start and you're in business